How professional do we want to make that documentation? Let's look at technical refinement for documentation and describe a lower and upper bound. So open projects that you're familiar with. Axter.io is a great source for loads and loads of projects that are multidisciplinary and then they've been documented so that you can copy them. This is what we know as open source tech. I'll choose the mechanical aspects and then let's look over here at how much detail and professionalism is included in the mechanical designs. The level is essentially we have photos, but we do not have um, really nice drawings or anything like that. Now we go over to the professional level made by a company. We have the data sheet for one of our encoders that goes on the robot. And this is the mechanical data area. It starts to get a little bit hairy for people who are novices and they may not know what these symbols all mean. So that's too low, that's too high. And this is where I think we should be. Now you're looking at a drawing and diagram from the kinematics guide of the scuttle robot, which we have published. And you will see that this is below the level of fidelity that you could get from a pure mechanical engineer who's passing drawings from one business to another. We want to have a high accuracy and a low or medium level of detail, just enough that the process can be adjusted or repeated. Okay, so scuttles here at the green dot, and this region is the region where it's an invitation for any given mechanical expert to go and enhance and improve on the designs. They feel comfortable and they can actually adjust your documentation in the open source world without the fear of messing it all up. It's easy to, for them to ascertain rapidly and then make a contribution. Then we have this range where we have exceeded by some margin the typical open source projects that people talk about. And this is where allowed for someone outside of your expertise field to still have an understanding of the project. When you go above this line, then they're going to start getting lost very quickly. I am suggesting that zone A is your invitation for other experts to make contributions and zone B is the accessibility zone for non-experts to still be able to move forward with your project. We've got to understand that no one is an expert at everything and so where you may be here, we have the other people to address here and here and if you invite all of them then the open source project thrives. I spoke with hundreds of engineers around the world who are involved or wish they would be involved in open source projects. I think here and above is where good talent gets intimidated from starting. And down here, you've just made something that isn't repeatable. And here is a snapshot of the whole story. I would love to have everyone's feedback who does engineering and project stuff.